And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to stroke a shape. I've got a black background right here and I'll create a new layer for my shape. It's transparent and it's on top of the background. I can for example use a selection tool like the Rect Angle Selection tool. Let me make it red and I use the paint bucket to left click on it. Same would go for an ellipse. The ellipse is still selected and if I want to give it a stroke I can just go to edit and use stroke selection. Stroke line is selected and it's going to select this foreground color right here so I'll make it white. This is the solid color. You can adjust the line width. You've got more options on the line style. It's a drop down. For example adjust cap style or join style. I'll use one of these presets, I'll stick to simple line and confirm via stroke and this is how I could stroke this ellipse. Let me deselect the ellipse and if you don't want to give this rectangle stroke you can select it for example with select by color, left click on it and again edit stroke selection and here it is. There's a different way to do it. Let me show you this when we go to filter, render and use the gfig to create our shape. So it's this menu and let me maybe create a star and I'll make it five sides. There's the stroke option but it feathers out so it may not be the best option. Let me uncheck it and I give it a color fill and I also make it red. So we've got this star now. Let me close this and you can see the star is on a new layer right here and I can just right click on it and then use alpha to selection. This is going to select what's on this layer and then I can go to edit and use stroke selection. So you just have to select your shape in some way. You can for example use alpha to selection, use the select by color tool and after you've selected it, you can simply go to edit and use the stroke selection to stroke your shapes. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.